Hello and welcome. Today we're unboxing the Noco Genius One 1 Amp Smart Car Battery Charger. It's got 6 volts and 12 volts, and it's a charger and a trickle charger. So let's get down to it. Comes in a pretty vanilla brown box. Inside it, we find a, a box with pictures. We'll look at that in a minute. So it says that this helps to maintain and keep a battery fully charged. And that's what I'm going to do with this. After we unbox it, I'm going to connect it to my car so I can leave it for a few weeks while I travel. And the NOCO Genius One, it's got a green light indicator, 6 and 12 volts, 1 amp. Battery charger is how it's labeled. It'll charge most lead acid and lithium batteries to replenish lost power battery. Although I wouldn't do this with a lithium battery without double checking. Uh, and then over here, we've got in the box, the charger, an interchangeable connector, uh, 21 inch cord and battery clamps. Let's open that. box in a box. We'll get rid of this. Then in the box, we have a little card and it says, also try other accessories. It's a marketing piece that offers different pieces of equipment that you can buy. And that's the empty box. I'll keep that for storage. Let's take a look at the components. Here's the piece that plugs into the wall. And we've got some a connector here, black and a white. This cable here has a connector that is designed to avoid mismatching. One of these is circular and the other one has a hexagonal shape. The holes are circular and hexagonal. So they go on like this. And you can see the red here clips in. Yeah, then that's clipped in. To release it, we've got to push this button and pull. So once again, to clip it, slide it in, lift the lever and push it in. And the red tab and the red tab holds it down. On this end we've got the connectors and here we've got another little tie to release the cable. We have a fairly lengthy cable at this point. This can go into the wall and then we've got, let's look at this, um, we'll use it a ruler and this ruler goes to uh, 18 inches. So measuring from here, we've got one 18 inch, two 18 inches, three 18 inches, four 18 inches, five 18 inches and just about six 18 inches. 18 inches is a foot and a half. So six of those would be nine feet, about nine feet of extension cable. Next, we'll take it out into the garage, plug it in and see how it works. And uh, here we are looking at the car now. This is a one-handed operation, so I apologize for the unstableness. So here, we open that up. That's negative, that's positive. We'll take the positive here and plug it in here. We'll take the negative 
and plug that in there. It can also go somewhere on the chassis. It's a good connection. Now this end is not connected and this end's not connected. So we're gonna connect these two now. That's gonna be a little ugly to watch. Try and do it one-handed. That's connected, the clamp's on. And the other end, we've got the Genius. It's not connected to anything just yet, but I've got an extension cord here, which I'm gonna leave by the car. So we'll go ahead and connect that next. As soon as it's connected, whoop, as soon as it's connected, all the lights flashed. And then it's jumped into this mode where it's, uh, Got the 12 volt light here indicating that it's on. So it's charging in the 12 volt mode. And this red light is pulsing. I'm not sure if we can see that. Let's see if we can turn the uh, flash off and get a better shot. Yes, I think we can see that a little clearer. It's pulsing. And the pulsing means that it's less than 75% charged. So we'll leave that here overnight and let it do its thing. I could not find any manuals included in the box, but online I found this from Noco. And it says that the pulsing red indicates it's below 75%, a pulsing green above 75, and a solid green is 100% charged. And then I went on to look at something else. I found this page, which shows that that V indicates a high voltage, the bad battery, the reverse polarity, and standby mode and temperature. So let's wait and go back and check whether the battery is charging. It's 16 hours later now, and we can see that the battery appears to be fully charged. So once it's at this point, we disconnect it. And here we are in the car. Let's push the button and see what happens. Everything starts up. That's a beautiful battery charger. Thanks for watching.